Hello and welcome back to my newest SQL Server Quickie. In the last two SQL Server Quickies I have talked about the recovery model simple and full. Today I want to continue that discussion by talking about the recovery model bulk locked, the final one that SQL Server supports. This recovery model can help you to keep your transaction log small if you are working with minimally locked operations in SQL Server. First, let's switch to the flip chart where I want to describe the idea behind that recovery model to you. I want to describe you now on the flip chart how you can work with the recovery model bulk locked. Again, like in the last two months, we have our timeline and let's say that again we are performing regularly full backups in the recovery model full. If you are running now minimally locked operations, they are described in books online, book, books online, which ones they are, like an index rebuild operation, you can switch your database temporarily in the recovery model bulk locked. So let's say we switch from here to here our database in the recovery model bulk locked. The idea behind bulk locked is quite simple. Normally with the recovery model full SQL Server logs every physical operation that you are performing in the transaction log. Means when you are rebuilding a clustered index, let's say of one gigabyte, you are generating at least one gigabyte of data in your transaction log. So you are generating a huge overhead. And with a minimally locked operation, SQL Server just marks those extents those data pages in the data file which have changed during that minimally locked operation. Means your transaction log will stay quite small because we are only marking those extents, those data pages as changed. That's it. And when you afterwards perform a transaction log backup, SQL Server takes the individual transaction log records from the transaction log and also copies all those changed pages from your data file into your transaction log backup. Means as an outcome, the size of your transaction log backup is almost the same as in the recovery model full. But you keep the size of your transaction log itself just smaller. Therefore, you should also only switch to the recovery model bulk lock for a specific amount of time. So you In this demonstration, I want to show you how the recovery model bulk locked influences minimally locked operations. The database Condoso Retail DW is currently set to the recovery model full, which is the default option for a new database. In the first step, I'm rebuilding here the clustered index of the largest table fact on rent sales. This takes some time and finally generates a transaction log size of around 390 megabytes. And in the next step, we back up the transaction log. The backup of the transaction log now has a size of around 360 megabytes. In the next step, I shrink down the transaction log to get rid of the old transaction log records and I set the recovery model to bulk log. This will then help us to manage the size of the transaction log when we run minimally locked operations like the index rebuild. When we now rebuild the clustered index again, we only generate a transaction log volume of about 170 megabytes. That's a huge difference compared with the 390 megabytes under the recovery model full. But when we now back up the transaction log again, the backup has almost the same size as previously about 360 megabytes. Therefore, the recovery model bulk locked 
has no influence on the size of your transaction log backups. It only influences the size of the transaction log when you run minimally locked operations. In this SQL Server Quickie, I have introduced you to the concept of the recovery model bulk locked. As you have seen in the demonstration, this recovery model helps you to keep the size of the transaction log small for some specific operations. The recovery model itself doesn't ever influence the size of your transaction log backups. Please keep that in mind. I hope that you have enjoyed today's SQL Server Quickie and I'm already looking forward to seeing you again next month. Stay tuned and enjoy your time.